I'm about to show you the two most important tools to getting your muscle quality back. Dr. Nicholas Mercer with You Improve PT. So, I bet you're wondering, two tools to help you get your muscle quality back, what does that mean? So, when we have a dysfunctional muscle, it's a muscle that's not working right. And a lot of times that can be due to trigger points, which are basically muscle spasms in a specific fiber of a muscle. Now that can throw off how your hip functions, how any of your joint functions. For today, we'll kind of focus on, on the hip though, and hip impingement, FAI, and labral tears. So, if we have this dysfunctional hip movement, because of these dysfunctional muscles, we're gonna have pain. So how do we restore the quality of these muscles and get them to lengthen and contract in the proper way? Well, the most important tool and the most effective tool that I found for patients to use on their own is a lacrosse ball. About the size of a tennis ball, but it's nice and sturdy. It's a nice, um, it's kind of soft, kind of hard rubber. Uh, now, if you own one, great. You probably know how useful it is. If you don't, they're super cheap and very, very valuable. So, what is the second tool? Second tool is your brain, okay? Because we could take this ball, we could roll on it, and we could just kind of roll on it. And that's it. And it wouldn't really help us. Because we need to connect our brain to where the lacrosse ball is going in order to sense where are we tender, where are those spasms, and where do we need to spend the most time to restore the muscle quality. So, for example, we'll stick this in my hip. When I take this lacrosse ball and I stick it under my hip, there's a lot of tissues in here, there's a lot of different muscles. We're not gonna worry about names of muscles. We are just going to try to recognize what muscles are dysfunctional. There's a few ways we can do that as you're rolling and putting pressure through that ball, one thing that we wanna use our brain for is sensing where are we tender? What's kind of painful? What is uncomfortable when we roll over it? For me, right about there, I have some tenderness. And so what I'm gonna do is use my brain, control my breathing, connect to that muscle where I'm feeling the tenderness, and try to relax over that lacrosse ball. I'm trying to almost cut off the blood supply, we call this ischemic compression. We wanna cut off the blood supply to that spasm, and that'll cause that spasm to basically spaz itself out. And so when we come off of the ball after about a minute or two, we get a rush of blood, helps break the spasm and restore that muscle to normal. Now, this normally doesn't work just with one shot, right? It's something you gotta do pretty consistently in order to continue giving that muscle input helping to restore the blood flow and reduce that spasm to get the muscle to be able to extend, contract, and basically move properly. Now, this spot on my hip is starting to feel better. So I'm gonna take pressure off, feel that blood rush back, put a little pressure on it, try to find another position that is tender, and I have one right about there. So I'm gonna put my weight into it, repeat that process a few different times on different parts of my hip, in order to restore the function of the hip there, right? After that is when I wanna do stretching and strengthening to make the hip joint function properly. So muscles control how the hips move. So if the muscles are dysfunctional, the, the joint movement's gonna be dysfunctional. With all that being said, two most important tools to restoring your muscle quality, lacrosse ball and the good old thinker here, the old, the old brain, the old head muscle, the skull jellies, the squishy, squishy part inside the hard chocolate shell of your brain, of your head, of your skull. I'm tired and I'm gonna end this video now. So um, one of the things that this is most helpful with is hip impingement, FAI, and labral tears. Now that's something I've suffered from uh, for a very long time and I was sick of suffering from it, so I created the hip impingement solution. As a doctor of physical therapy, I have a lot of tests that I would use on a patient who, who came into my office with hip infringement, labral tears, FAI. I've taken those tests, made them into self-tests that you can do on your own, which will help guide you to the exercises and techniques that are most likely to work for your specific situation. If you'd like access to this program, check out the hipinfringementsolution.com. If you're not quite ready for that, that's okay. Go to youimprovept.com, get in touch with us. We've got more information on ending hip pain there. Alternatively, you can check out some more videos on YouTube, 
for hip impingement, I will, link, I will link a playlist in the card above for our hip impingement playlist videos. So um, again, there's no magic bullet. There's no one thing that is going to completely fix your hips. We have to figure out where your deficits are, identify them, target them, and then get the hips moving better, okay? So get ready to improve your pain, improve your movement, and improve your life.